It's the book of 2nd Ezra 5 verse 27. And among all the multitudes of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Bashim Harakakadash, the bonus of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring this word in true love and sincerity. I mean, blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. I'm going to read it again. It's the book of 2nd Ezra 5, verse 27. And among all the multitudes of the peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto this people whom thou lovest, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated, right? Thou gavest a law that is approved of all. You see? So who is this one people being spoken of in 2nd Ezra, the 5th chapter, the 27th verse? This people that is being spoken of is Israel. Okay? Matter of fact, right? Let's get on. Um, Romans 9, verse 1, right? Because it was spoken about through this people that thou lovest, right? That's why I said, Jacob have I loved and Esau who, who have I hated, right? And thou who has gotten the law, and that was Israel, all right? That's the book of Romans 9, verse 4. You know what? Let's start at 3. It says, For I could wish that myself were a curse from a Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, right? And this is Apostle Paul, which was also an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, speaking of how he how he should have took on, you know, what the Messiah had to go through. For who? For his brethren, his kinsmen, or as it says, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertain of the adoption, the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, in the service of the Most High. And the promises. You see that? Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh of Mashiach came, who is over all God bless forever. Amen. You see, so just reading that alone, you know, all these were given to the Israelites, you see? The adoptions to be adopted back to the Heavenly Father through, you know, Yahweh Shai, right? And the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law. So in the glory, right, in the kingdom. And the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises, you know. So all this was given unto Israel, okay. The old covenant, the new covenant, you know. Only the, uh, the people that can do the ministry of the Lord are, the, are Israel, right. The service of the Most High to be a prophet, to be a priest, all goes back. You all have, you have to be an Israelite for that. All right. So let's go back to Second Ezra five. Second Ezra 5 and 27. Let's read it again. It says, And among all the multitudes of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. Matter of fact, I said it and I was in the same chapter. Let me get it. Right? Of whom thou lovest. Who the Lord loves? Jacob. Right? Which name was later changed to Israel. Romans 9 verse 13. And as, it is, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And when you read the scripture, you want to ask yourself, well, hold on. Who is Jacob? And who is, and who is uh, Esau? You see? Hey, Jacob consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? And Esau represents you, you so-called white people, man. The Edomites. Okay, majority of you people that's uh, calling yourself Caucasians. Okay, you are the Edomites. Whoever sea line go back to Esau, you're an Edomite. You know, no matter what skin color you are, you're an Edomite. Okay, and that and that goes for Jacob too. You see, hey, cause Jacob Jacob is a uh, as a speckled bird. So, you know, you can you can be an Israelite no matter what you look like. Okay, because this is not about skin color, but this is about bloodline. This is about race. Okay, this is about nationality. And the Lord loves the Israelites. Okay, only. He only loved the Israelites. 
So I read it again. It says Romans 9 verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You see? So going into that one people that the Lord loves is, is who? Israel. You see? And we are that one people that who the Lord is only dealing with. Okay. Uh, let's get a book of Joel 2. And I'm not going to make this very long. You know, I just want to get straight to the point. Joel 2 verse 27, it says, And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my what? And my people shall never be ashamed. You see, who is the Lord's people? Israel. Right? Deuteronomy 32. Verse 9, it says, Also out of verse 8, it says, When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. You see that? See, so the Lord's people are, are the Israelites. Okay. Go to the book of Deuteronomy 14. Verse 2 it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord have chosen thee to be what? To be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. You see? So the Lord separated the Israelites from all the people of the earth, man. You see? And how were we separated? He given us what? The law, statutes, and commandments, which which was our wisdom in the sight of the nation, and which was our wisdom in the sight of the nations, man. Okay, so the Lord chose us and made us near unto Himself. You see, made us separate, made us holy. You see, from all the other people on the earth. Okay, He actually made us to be above all the nations that are upon the earth. Okay. And we have been brought to this low estate, you know, due to what? Or our disobedience, man, you know? Or our iniquities. Okay? The multitude of our different iniquities, you know, that we have done, our transgressions that we have done against the Heavenly Father, man. To where he had to uh, put us, you know, in, 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 he had to judge us and put us into captivity, man. All right? Like, let's go get the book of um, additions to Esther. Uh, I believe it's two. Addition to Esther two. Oh, what's going on with that? Oh, Slocky, Akim, I don't know what's going on with that. Should I close that out? And, uh, do it again. Wow, Slocky, so I can't get that scripture, but it's all good. Um, matter of fact, let's go back to second edges, second edges where we were. Let's go to verse, let's go to six, chapter six. Let's start our verse 54. It says, all, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, right? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. You see? So out of all the people, out of all the families of the earth, there's a chosen people, right? Doesn't it say the same thing in 2nd Genesis, the 5th chapter? Second Genesis 5 verse 27 And among all the multitudes of the people Thou hast gotten thee one people And unto this people whom thou lovest Thou givest a law that is approved of all of, Approved of all man You see So right here it's saying It's gotten thee one people Or thou hast gotten thee one people Right And right here it says what
and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So it's letting you know that the Lord has a chosen people amongst all these people, all these people on the earth. The Lord has a chosen people. And who are those people? The Israelites. Verse 55 says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes, right? As for the other people, who's the other people? You heathen, you Gentiles, which also came from Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop of thy father from a vessel, man. You see? So the Lord compared you other nations to be like unto what? Spit. The Lord compared you other nations to be uh, like unto what? Abundance of them unto a drop, right? He, he likened you nations unto a drop that fallen from a bucket, man, that fallen from a vessel. You see? If you're carrying a bucket of water, right, and you drop, uh, you drop a, uh, you, you, uh, you're carrying a bucket of water, water and you spill a drop, you're not going to care for that drop. You see? You're going to glance at that drop, hit the ground, and keep it moving. You see? That's how the Lord doesn't care about you other nations, man. Y'all are nothing. You see? Verse 57, it says, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen which have... Salakia says, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing, right, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. You see? Because you heathens weren't nothing, man. You see? You, 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 you heathens weren't, you know, uh, made to... Uh, wasn't truly made to be you know uh, ruling over us okay you heathen what you, you heathens wasn't made to be uh, uh you know uh, be exalted but hey as the scripture says time and chance happen to them all you see so these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to and to devour us but we, thy people, whom thou call thy firstborn, thy only begotten, the fervent lover, are given into their hands. You see? And this is what happened to us. You know, even, even as now, man. You see? We, most of us is over here in America, Babylon, and Great, being rolled over by who? Esau, Edom, man. You see? Who, whose uh, earth, the hand, whose hands the earth have been given to, have been given to. You see? Verse 59 says, If the world the world not be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long should this endure? So this is just Ezra is asking, you know, the Lord, you know, questions. And as you read the chapter before that, you know, Ezra is also doing the same thing, you know, asking, you know, if asking the Lord, you know, concerning Israel, well, we be, you know, uh, thy only people or, or thy chosen, you know, why are we scattered? You know, why is this world made for us and these heathens ruling over us? You know, why is these heathen that has been made to be, were made to be, or which have ever been reputed as nothing, why did they begin to rule over us? You see? But as I did in the, in the lesson before, you know, we have been put in this, you know, position, you know, we have been put in this position for our wickedness, man, our doings. You know, and ultimately, as, as brothers always say, you know, to learn of, you know, how not to be. You see. So going back into as I was saying, the, the one people that the Lord chosen, and is, is dealing with is Israel, man. Okay. Uh, it's the book of Ecclesiastes ten verse seven. It says, "I have seen servants upon horses, right." And princes walking as servants upon the earth. You see, and that represents us, man. These servants, the truly people that was made to be servants are these are these heathen, man, are the other nations. You know, but now everything is flipped upside down. It says, What I have seen servants upon horses and princes, right? Yasha Allah, the sons of the sons of the power, so the sons of God, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. See? And this is you this is the state that you see Israel in. Okay. Like I second second of just five verse twenty seven. It says, uh, and just want to read down and prove that this is speaking of that Ezra is concerning who he's concerned about 
is Israel, and this is who he's speaking about. It says, And among all the second verse 27, and among all the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people, and unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. And now, O Lord, why hast thou given this one people over unto many? And upon the one root hast thou prepared others, and why hast thou scattered thy only one people among many? Who were the people that were scattered? The Israelites, right? Due to the curses, as the Lord said. And they which did gainsay thy promises and believe not thy covenants have trodden them down. And, and who was that? Who was that? It's like, and, and who was that? Okay, who is the ones that gainsay thy promises and believe not thy covenants? The heathen. You see? If thou didst so much hate thy people, yet shouldest thou punish them with, with thy own hands? It's like I want to get a precept for the 29th verse. Let's get uh, the book of Psalms 50. Verse 16. And it says, But unto the wicked the most high said, Why hast thou what hast thou to do to, to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Right? Seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee. You see? And this is what we say about you other nations, man. Why are you trying to take the Lord's book, man? And and, and try to speak the words of the Lord, man. Right? You know, when y'all not even supposed to be having the scriptures in y'all hands, man. So these are the heathens, man. These heathens are the ones that hate this instruction, man. It catches the words of the Lord behind their body. Because here they go. They, they'll pick up the scriptures and say out of one mouth that they're God-fearing people and they're Christians. And, you know, they like the, they fear the Lord. But yet they tell people that the law is done away with. Right? Do as thou will. God is all love. You know, God God loves you no matter how you come, in, and you can do whatever you whatever whatever you please, and He'll still love you. Like they say, all these different uh, different things of blasphemy, blasphemy and madness. You see, but it's showing you that what that they hate they hate His instruction, man, and they truly catch the words of the Lord behind their back. So that's what the Lord says. What? But unto the wicked, the Most High said, What has thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that should just take my covenant in thy mouth, man. You see? So back at 2nd Ezra 5, and I want to try to get to the point. Thirty-five. It says, and he said unto me, talking about the angel, Thou canst not. And I said, Where for Lord? Where to was I born then, or or why was I not? Lucky, or why was not my mother's womb then my grave that I might not have seen the travail of who Jacob in the wearisome toil of the stock of Israel? And when you read up above, as I started with twenty-seven, this is who. Ezra is concerned about you know this is 